For ex-service personnel, the best way to mortalize their fallen colleagues is by giving sufficient attention to the welfare of serving personnel and the families left behind by those that pay the ultimate price. Abiodu Duro Wai Habat and Awala Liu are military veterans. He enlisted into the Nigerian Navy in 1984 and then after some years, uh, over uh, for more than uh, close to two decades, I served on uh, uh, in various ships and establishments. Uh, even before me, my father was also uh, a soldier. Uh, he was uh, a civil war veteran. He was part of uh, the, uh, so many international uh, uh, engagements. So I was born and brought up in the military barracks. I was also lucky to have gotten married to a, a soldier's daughter. Her father was also a soldier. And I have two of my sons in the army, as I speak to you right now. They are concerned that although there is a marginal improvement in the welfare of veterans, it's still a far cry from what is obtainable in other climes. A lot of our needs and wants have not been uh, actualized. We are still in various needs uh, compared to, uh, to other nations and um, veterans. <laughs> On Wednesday, ex-service personnel staged a protest in front of the Ministry of Finance in the metropolis of Abuja. What we see in Nigeria is veteran protesting, asking for his right to be paid. When in other countries, they get to, the, the authority follow you to where you are and ask you, how are you feeling? We want to appeal to Mr. President to please look into this plight, hasten the approval or assenting uh, the, the chart and the committee report on debarment and other welfare matters that is before him so that we will also be happy and we will live to benefit from the struggles we have made for this country. The quest for better welfare is what the Nigerian Military Widows Association is out to secure. It's a place to come together to find succor from the trauma, psychological trauma that we find ourselves into because